first impressions of can you drive this daily? And I'm going to say just first impression, the answer is no. It's a uh, tight enough for me. I'm 5'11", about a 200 pounds, so I'm not that tall, but the seating position is great, the ride is great, you can switch it up, but I'm talking about as a daily, everyday in the grind drive with the manual and with that tight clutch, it's probably not a good idea, but it's a lot of fun and uh, I'm sure a lot of people would try to drive it every day, but for me, it's not a daily driver. I probably drive my old hoopty. Yeah, this road is terrible. It's stupid, but I, I think what the YouTube videos do is give, give people, uh, they give people, I mean, millions of people insight into people's lives that are living just a little bit differently than they are. It's like watching reality TV, except for the people are everyday normal people like you and me. Like a lot of those guys I see on their, their, their uh, website, like, uh, let's see, one, uh, this, uh, Street Speed 717 guy. His site is mostly about uh, cars and Corvettes, but he's got like almost 600,000 people that, that subscribe to that. And he do a lot of racing things, you know, it's mostly uh, in the, I guess, the East Coast area. I think most of the people that I see out there from the East Coast. There's another one, uh, tall, guy, tall Guy Car Review. That's a, uh, he's an African American guy. He has some real wild car reviews, man. And so I kind of watch his videos. But when I look at those videos, just to think about what, what makes them popular. Because it's just normal people talk about normal stuff they just happen to have nice cars and opinions and it makes me wonder man look at this traffic it makes me wonder what uh, makes me wonder what they don't did up here but it makes me wonder why uh hey is that a jaguar oh man i'm sorry to see that that is nice but it makes me wonder why I forgot my chain of thought. Why people uh, watch those videos, and basically it's because you're seeing uh, you're seeing how other people are living, and how, or I guess the belief that maybe you can get there too. That's kind of what what I look at, how I see it, and they just normal everyday people. You know, talking about things that happen in their lives. I mean, they, they got regular jobs. They're not superstars. Uh, they're not like, you know, artists. Not really creating anything. They're just they're day to day life. And I figure, what the heck? I'm not doing nothing, so let me make a YouTube channel and just throw some stuff out there. 
personally, I think everybody should make a YouTube channel. I mean, think about it. 36 million people. And here I go. Voted for Donald Trump. You ought to be able to tell 36 million people something. You ought to be able to at least get a million of those to, to do something on your website or your YouTube page. You can get on talking about that, talking about politics. But do something. Like, I know some people out there that are really good cooks. And I know you probably look at it like, well, there's a million other people on YouTube doing that. Okay. So there's a million other people on YouTube doing that. You can be one million and one. It ain't about, you know, what you're doing. It's how you doing it. If you're doing it, look differently. It ain't necessarily got to be better than the other person. If you're just doing it. For you. Because there's a lot of money out there on YouTube. I mean, I know a lot of people that I've talked to and tried to convince, like a lot of young, younger ladies that I know. I mean, man, there's a lady out there that just does exercises in her bra. She's not new. She can't do new stuff on YouTube. And she's not really pushing the envelope of nudity. She just out there exercising in her bra. She just happened to have very uh, nice side breasts. Is she making millions? Is she making millions? Is she making millions? She's making millions. I'm just saying, man. Black people need to get on board. I mean, I, mean, I know we are a very private person, but and there's a lot of African Americans out there doing it on YouTube too. But you just gotta keep throwing stuff up against the wall, man, and see what happens. 